हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय लीगल क्लासेस दिस इज गणेश पुजारी एंड इन द सीरीज ऑफ अपील्स दिस इज आवर फोर्थ सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग ऑन चैप्टर 29 व्हिच हैज एज मेनी एज 23 सेक्शंस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड 14 सेक्शंस इन आवर प्रीवियस थ्री सेशंस एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू कवर फोर मोर सेक्शंस दैट इज सेक्शन 386 टू 389 लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देम वन बाय वन section 386 discusses about power of the appellate court now the appeal has been made what are the powers of the appellate court if the appeal is made either under section 377 or 378 which are discussing about the appeal by state government or appeal against acquittal and while hearing the both the parties if the appellate court feels that there is no sufficient ground it can directly dismiss such appeal that is the first possibility or if there is an appeal from an order of acquittal in that case the appellate court can reverse such order and direct for further enquiry and in such enquiry if it founds that he has committed such offense it can pass the sentence for punishment also according to the law if an appeal made for conviction in that case there are two possibilities either it can discharge such convicted person from the conviction or it may maintain the sentence but only one thing we have to remember that it cannot enhance the punishment that is one aspect we need to remember which is discussed under sub clause b of section 386 while b discusses about appeal from a conviction c discusses about appeal for enhancement of sentence under b there can be convicted held but there cannot be any enhancement in the punishment whereas subsection c gives exactly the same opportunity where the appeal is made for the enhancement of sentence and after adequate enquiry the appellate court can either enhance or reduce the sentence that is possible as per subsection c so d discusses about appeal from any other order and the appellate court got all the right to reverse such order also and further it can make any amendment or any consequential or incidental order that may be just and proper but however while doing so it should not enhance anybody's punishment if it is doing it should give an opportunity to the accused to show cause that why should the court should not do that that opportunity to be given Section 387 discusses about judgments of subordinate appellate courts actually it should follow all the procedures as per chapter 27 of CRPC which discusses about judgment of criminal court however there is one exclusion here if the appeal court decides that the accused need not to be there in the court while pronouncing the judgment it can do the same without the accused being present there also that is one possibility available under section 387 Section 388 discusses about order of high court on appeal to be certified to lower court in any case whenever it is decided by high court as an appeal it shall certify its judgment or order to the court by which the finding sentence or order appealed against was recorded or passed and if such court is that of a judicial magistrate other than the chief judicial magistrate the high court's judgment or order shall be sent through the chief judicial magistrate and if such court is that of an executive magistrate the high court's judgment or order shall be sent through the district magistrate the court to which the high court certifies its judgment or order shall there upon make such orders as are comfortable to the judgment or order of the high court and if necessary the record shall be amended in accordance therewith it is all the procedures to be followed once the judgment is given by the high court as a appellate court Section 389 discusses about suspension of sentence pending the appeal release of appellant on bail now subsection 1 says if there is an appeal pending of a convicted person in such case if he is under confinement the appellate court can release him on his own bond that opportunity is there but the reasons for the same shall be recorded by the appellate court even high court can also function in the same way as section 389 is applicable to high court also subsection 3 says 
when a convicted person satisfies the court for an appeal he shall get bail under two circumstances one when he is sentenced to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 3 years or if he has committed a bailable offence in that case he shall get bail if court is rejecting to give bail under these two circumstances in that case the court needs to give the reasons in record that is very important and finally what happens while the convicted gets the punishment even after the appeal that is what discussed under subsection 4 in that case what happens imagine he has got the sentence of 3 years imprisonment and he was outside the imprisonment because of all this appeal etc on bail for 6 months in that case whatever period he was outside will not be counted as his sentence he has to serve that period as an additional period so that his imprisonment for 3 years is completed that is one another aspect which is discussed under subsection 4 with that we have completed 18 sections Five more sections are pending which I will be covering in my next class. Till then, thank you so much for subscribing my channel. Please like, share and comment my videos. All the very best for whatsoever purpose you are watching my channel. And thanks again.